What's up, Kill Two Technical? I'm back again with another video. I said I'm back again with another video. <clears throat> so today, I just wanted to do this vlog-like video, talking about some things in, in the tech world. So let me get my Z Fold Three real quick. All right. So I have my Z Fold Three. Uh. There's a few little things that I want to talk about, so we're going to do that right now. So, as you know, it is currently April, and in August, Samsung will be revealing their Z Fold 5 and their Z Flip 5. And I'm pretty excited about their Z Fold 5 only because I currently have. The Z Fold 3, this is the device that I currently use as my folding device is the Z Fold 3 and I'm ready to move on to a new Samsung folding device which is the Z Fold 5 if everything goes the way I plan it. I do plan on tr uh, trading this in for a Z Fold 5 if everything goes well, you know. I can't promise anything because I don't know how things are going to look when August comes because it's so far away but pretty much from what I heard there's really not going to be that many changes so if you're out there and you have a Z Fold 4 and you're thinking about maybe trading your Z Fold 4 in for a Z Fold 5 I don't know if that's going to be a bit the best uh upgrade I don't even know if you can call that upgrade I know for sure that it's supposed to be a lot thinner a lot lighter than your current Z Fold 4 and it is supposed to be something with the water proofing or something a water some a waterproof or something something with the hinge to where when you close it there's not a big gap as you can see in the Z Fold 3 I don't know how well you can see this but when you close it there's a big gap in the middle but on the Z Fold 5 it's not it's not supposed to have that big the uh, gap in the middle once the device is closed and that's a good thing because that means a lot of dust and grime will not settle in that in the inside of your device and in the hinge when it's closed and when it's open so that's two two things that i know for sure that i heard that are supposed to be different about the z fold 5 but other than that you're still supposed to get the exact same uh outside screen display if you have a z fold 4 supposed to be the same on the z fold 5 which is supposed to be a 6.2 inch display in the on the outside, 7.6 inch on the inside, and just like I said, lighter and with a better hinge, better hinge. But other than that, I don't know anything else about your Z Fold 5. And then moving on to the Z Flip 5, the Z Flip 5 is supposed to have a lot bigger uh, out. Uh, uh, lot bigger outer outer display than what it already does let me pull up a z fold 5 real quick or what it's supposed to look like just bear with me i mean not z, that z fold z flip let me see here so supposedly don't quote me on any of this because like i said i'm just bringing news to you on my point in my point of view i don't know exactly how it's going to look but from what we're seeing these are the pictures that they are you know the leaks some of the leaks that they are putting out as of right now of course things could change because it's still early but then again i don't know because they could already be working on a uh, production of this device but supposedly your z fold 5 is supposed to have a slightly bigger display supposed to be something like this now like I said I don't know how true this is because these are still just leaks and these are people talking about it I know uh, there is uh, the dimension somewhere but I don't know it's the exact dimensions of the outside display but that'll be nice because if you have the Z Fold 4 you already know that Z Fold 4 screen is very slim but if 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 this is true and if the Z Fold 5 gets a bigger outside display then that just means you'll be able to do 
a lot more with your Z Fold 5 outside display. You know, you won't just be able to show apps. You could probably actually open apps and do things on the outer display that you cannot normally do on your Z Fold, on your Z Flip 4 right now. So that is where we are at as of right now with the Z Flip 5 and the Z Fold 5 in the comment section below. Let me know some of your thoughts about the Z Flip 5 and the Z, Four, Z Fold 5. Let me know if you plan on getting it or if you don't plan on getting it. Let me know if you have a Z Fold 4 and you plan on upgrading or if you have the Z, the Z Flip 4 and you plan on op op up uh, upgrading to the Z Flip 5. So just rate, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube Tech channel. I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out.